కారణం వరంగల్ అన్ని రంగాల్లో డెవలప్ అవుతోందన్నారు మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ సిఐఐ రూపొందించిన వరంగల్ విజన్ డాక్యుమెంట్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ ను విడుదల చేశారు ఎన్ఆర్ఐలు వరంగల్ లాంటి సిటీలో పెట్టుబడులు పెట్టాలని ఆహ్వానించారు జిల్లాలో పరిశ్రమలు ఏర్పాటు చేసేవారికి ప్రత్యేక రాయితీలు కల్పిస్తామన్నారు ఇప్పటికే కొన్ని ఐటీ కంపెనీలు ఏర్పాటు చేసినట్లు చెప్పారు వరంగల్ ఎయిర్పోర్ట్ కి డొమెస్టిక్ విమానాలు నడిచేలా ప్లాన్ చేస్తున్నట్లు చెప్పారు కేటీఆర్ I am also a strong proponent of giving special incentives for industry to go to the rural areas. And so, I would I would certainly want to create a strategy for that. In fact, uh, the beauty of Varangal is it was at one point the capital of the erstwhile Kakatiyas who ruled this entire uh, region. In fact, secondly, it has a very very strong academic base, including NIT, Varangal being based out of there, and also several large institutes, both engineering and other professional courses being offered, and which churn out. large number of students every single year large number of uh, think force every single year the other thing which is which works well for varangal is the kind of uh, agrarian economy there is adjunct to it kakatiya mega textile park coming up in varangal which i have a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, it is the largest in the country largest park in the country and i do believe as was pointed out by shankar that uh, it will create great deal of employment and more specifically for women especially because there is going to be large number of garmenting units there as well and so and simultaneously in fact even if you look at the tourism potential not just the city of varangal which is already a heritage city hrudai city uh, it's also now been uh, given a lot of money because government of telangana first time started giving out budgeted amounts for each corporation and for varangal in fact it is 300 crores every year towards basic infrastructure improvement corridor between hyderabad and varangal also has yadadri which is shaping up to be a beautiful beautiful temple i think uh, we are spending nearly 400 crores and that that is going to be truly uh, one of its kind destination especially with respect to religious tourism i am also looking forward to more and more varangal nris actually coming back and setting shop in fact we are building a large uh, incubation center and a it park there and i do believe that uh, the demand is only going to grow in days to come and as was pointed out the airport in varangal also and hopefully something might come of it and we are very keen to get the varangal airport functional to the capacity of uh, being a full fledged air strip where people can come in land at least the domestic uh, flyers can come in directly and land directly in varangal any potential investor can come directly to varangal and not having to come down at hyderabad airport and then uh, you know go by rail or road